Hello everyone. Welcome back to FFG Live. My name is Evan Johnson and I'm joined here today by Phil Henry. Hello. How are you doing today, Phil? I'm good. Good. So we are moving into the Arkham Horror section of Gen Con Online. Uh, we, we are wrapping up. These are our last live streams for the day, but they're going to be really good ones. Um, we're, we are on a bit of a tight timeline. We're get, we've got about an hour to play. We're showing off the Underdark Waves expansion for Arkham Horror 3rd Edition, this upcoming expansion. We're gonna start playing one of the scenarios. We're probably not going to finish because uh, we, as I mentioned, we have limited time, but we will show you guys as much as we can. However, before we get into this, I do yeah. want to talk about uh, these new print yeah, and play. You're playing a non-standard Wendy. I am, a different kind of <laughs> Wendy. T tell me a little bit about this. What What is this uh, that we have to share with, with yeah, all the fans? We decided it would be a good, fun thing to do for Gen Con to produce a series of print and play investigators. These are uh, characters from the core set that we kind of took another another tack with and redesigned them from the ground up so they have all new starting talents uh, to see what other ways we can explore how those characters work within the lore and within the kind of what people expect of those characters. Uh, mm -hmm. to see how they can work differently and what different tactics they can bring to bear here. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm playing as Wendy here, but it may not be the same Wendy that you remember. Because uh, all the stats are uh, the same, correct? Yeah, they have the same skills, the same five skills, uh, but they have different, like I said, all new uh, starting assets mm -hmm. uh, to kind of re-explore how their things work. M most of these characters also have slightly tweaked roles within the game. Uh, roles in Arkham Third are suggestions for how they work best. Mm -hmm. They're not hard mechanical things, but they do inform the sorts of things you want to do in a game. Uh, this version of Wendy leans a little more into that survivor role. You can put it in the uh, in the card cam there. So much more so if you... Uh, oh, this isn't the one that has an early prototype of Shots in the Dark on the back of your card. Because <laughs> <laughs> they printed just a little bit smaller on my home printer. Uh, so you can see her uh, shortcut or her streetwise ability is similar to shortcut on the core game, but instead of getting a free space of movement every time she evades, she now gets a free instead of two spaces of movement when she evades, she now gets a free space of movement every time she passes an observation test. So she can spread that out a little bit. She can get some other tricksy ways to move around. That seems pretty good. And then I also have new options yeah. for uh, for the starting cards that a I have. New, new talent. She always starts with forewarned. Mm -hmm. So every time she gains a clue, she's gonna get to recover some health and sanity. So she's still leaning into that survivor aspect where she is rolling with the punches and she just keeps going. And now she has a choice between protective charm and unassuming. The protective charm once per round, when any investigator draws a Doom Mythos token, you may ignore that token. If you do, each non-epic, each ready non-epic monster moves one space towards you. So she can prevent a lot of damage by blocking that Doom from landing on the board. But now she's making a lot of friends she really wishes she didn't have. <laughs> or she can be unassuming, kind of go the opposite way. Each non-hunter monster in your space gains the elusive trait, so they will not engage. And that's not just for her, that's anybody in her space. Any monsters in her space are now elusive and don't automatically engage as long as she's there. Mm -hmm. So she can help the team manage monsters or manage Doom depending on how she's feeling that day and what kind of team she's running with. Perfect. So uh, I believe I'm probably going to roll with Unassuming unless that's going to mess up your plans. I think that's All right. probably I'm, a good call. I'm I didn't go for a, a real heavy hitter over here. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and before we get on to your investigator, who is one of the new investigators yeah. under Dark Waves. So yes, there's going to be these four of these investigators. It's Wendy, it's Rex Murphy, it's Minty Pond, and it's Dexter Drake. Uh, and they're all going to be going live after this stream mm -hmm. on the website for you guys to to download. Uh, oh, and, and another cool little thing is that they all have like um, new lore on the yeah, back. Yeah, their like, story so far on, in all four cases has been uh, rewritten to... To kind, kind of, of snap that focus into our two new towns. Yeah, and Innsmouth, Innsmouth and, and Kingsport. Exactly, tying it more into that expansion. So, uh, something for you guys to look forward to. And uh, what have you got from Under Dark Waves? I'm playing Patrice Hathaway, the violinist. Mm. So, uh, bear with me. We don't have our physical copy of Dark Waves yet. So, this is 
uh, beta componentry. Uh, there's been some slight verbiage changes, but nothing too major for this character. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so she has through the eyes of the watcher. Each time Doom is placed on the scenario sheet, move tool are placed on the scenario sheet. You may focus one skill of your choice, even if it exceeds your limit. So the farther behind you get, the stronger Patrice gets to help you catch back up. Uh, she has a not much strength, but she's pretty balanced on the other important stats in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, which is not to say influence is not important. We'll see how more important influence has become here. Uh, I have chosen... She has, for her setup ability, she can take the Ominous Dreams talent if she shuffle, shuffles the Watcher monster into the monster deck. Oh. So she has uh, somebody hunting her, hiding in that deck over there. That's super in cool. In exchange for that, I have gained the ability, gained Ominous Dreams. Once per round while resolving a test, you may reroll one success to spawn or research one clue. Nice. So you can gamble a little on your, on your check or just... Get rid of those extra successes if you only needed one to get some action economy there. All right. Well, let us get into it. We're also playing one of the new scenarios yes. here from uh, Underdark Waves. What are we playing We're here playing today? We're playing Ithakwa's Children. You'll notice right away this is a very large map. Yes. It, it includes five neighborhoods in Arkham as well as a neighborhood in Innsmouth and a neighborhood in Kingsport. Because this, he threatens the entire Miskatonic Valley. Hmm. Ithakwa the Windwalker lurks in the frozen north. He is the cold wind that creeps into the soul and the hungry ice that entombs the unwary. Forsaken and alone, Ithakwa spreads his influence in the cruel hope he might beget a terrible progeny, a new scion that could overcome even the Elder Gods. So we're going to start at Velma's. Our reckoning effect is we're going to place one doom in any space in Innsmouth and one doom in any space in Kingsport. So he is threatening... The whole region. Yeah. We're adding card 61, Terror. This is our new Doom mechanic for the box. Mm. While the people you hope to c protect cannot fathom the true depth of the danger that surrounds them, they feel it, just as the heart senses the stalking wolf. The madding evil that in infects this place has grown too strong to ignore, and what passes for normal life has become impossible. When a neighborhood has six or more Doom, Remove all Doom from one space in that neighborhood, and place one Doom on the scenario sheet. Then spread terror in that neighborhood. Anytime something tells us to spread terror, whether that's effect on a card or the spread terror token in the bag... Nice. I'll go hunting for that token. Yeah, <laughs> yes. We've seen it in our preview, but anytime we spread terror... Which we will... One of these tokens. That token yeah. here. Yeah. The little ghoul face. Yeah, we're gonna place a terror token in that neighborhood. We're and then we're going to attach one of these terror cards to that neighborhood deck. If you have an encounter in that neighborhood, you're gonna hit one of these cards first. Mm. So it's just gonna be a little more taxing, a little more dangerous to get through that. Are encounter. there different uh, are there different terror decks for different scenarios or right. different setups? There are. This scenario uses the Frozen City terror deck. Ah. Uh, where the focus is on this unseasonable cold snap and terrible icy weather, mm. as opposed to uh, the other terror deck in the box, Feeding Frenzy, is deep ones, deep ones everywhere. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Well, that's, uh, it is a bit cold for today in Minnesota. Yeah. Cold lately. It, I wrote this, started work on this scenario in the dead of winter when it was just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just needed to be spring already. It's also worth noting here on card 61, there's a special component action. Mm. You may gather support and organize resistance against the threat test influence. For each success you roll, you may discard one threat token or terror, one terror token or terror card from your neighborhood. They're reading at a long, weird angle, and I wrote this card a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully that will be you, because when Wendy has no influence. I'm a, a dirty little street child. Well, and no one cares that I. We think. can also get rid of terror just by face checking it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's what I'll Power your way through. Uh, we both have high will, so we should actually be okay with that. Yes. And then we've added card ninety one to the codex. Mm. The shutters clatter loudly as another blast of frigid wind rattles the diner's windows. Velma tuts softly and shakes her tired head as she warms your coffee with a fresh pot. This weather, I swear. Don't they know it's supposed to be spring? 
Your commiseration is interrupted when a howl cuts through the night. Though you do not know the animal, your primal senses recognize the significance. A beast is hunting. Spawn card 104, the Wendigo epic monster. Oh, snap. At the unstable space. You want to throw that guy is, in, the, uh, in the card shot? Obviously, we won't have that beta watermark when of we get around to the real thing. But wow, look at that we're guy. We're starting off with a bang. This Wendigo is coming for us. He's lurking at Ma's boarding house. Every round, he's going to spread terror in that neighborhood. Okay, he's right there. Then we're going to flip this card because we're just starting with an epic monster. Because mm -hmm. why not, right? Why not? Cold, cruel hunger. You peek through the louvered shutters, searching for the source of that menacing call. There, floating ominously on the arctic wind, is a humanoid figure, stretched to bestial proportion, its face red with the blood of a recent meal. It sniffs the air for a moment before an icy gale bears it onward towards its next unsuspecting quarry. The predator must be stopped before you can further investigate this unnatural weather. Add card 92 to the codex. When there's four more doom on the scenario sheet, we're going to add card 103 and bounce this card back. Friend or foe, card 92. As you prepare to give chase, you spot a figure in a heavy, dark coat, turning away from the twisted beast and down a dark, windswept alley. A brief flare of light occludes your vision, and the dark figure has vanished entirely. You cannot say whether the stranger is in league with the creature or is a potential ally, but you are sure they know something. When the Wendigo epic monster is defeated, flip this card. As an action, take any number of clues from the scenario sheet and place them on your play area to deal two damage to the Wendigo epic monster for each clue you take this way. Oh. So if we can get some clues researched, we can bounce them back and forth between the sheet and our investigators mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to take this thing down without fighting it, because neither one of us is going to do great in a fight. Yes, yes. Fighting is not our strong suit. All right. Well, then. Shall and we Then it's to us. We have we two begin? actions each. All right. Uh, it seems like clues is going to be uh, Getting, yeah. gonna be our path to yeah, We're going to want to do this that. Guy. There is a Tommy gun in the display if we think we can sweet talk the police into handing it to us. Oh. Or, or if we can afford it at the general store, but neither one of us has a ton of cash. Right, right. Well, I could try and, uh, and check out the police station, perhaps. Actually, uh, why don't I go first, because I have a nice little buff ability here oh, with my violin. Yeah, go for it. As the violinist, I, Patrice's violin, after you perform a gather resources action, choose a skill. Each investigator in your neighborhood focuses that skill. Well, there we are. So, what do we think we want to be better at? We're both pretty good at observation already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could go for improved strength, I think. Yeah, I will play a song of strength. I All will right. gather resources and choose strength, so we both get to focus that. Perfect. Roll me one of yawn tokens. Yeah. So we're all feeling pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Uh, is the box size of this expansion the same size as the corset box? Yeah, it's gonna be in our standard standard size box. There you have it. There's a lot of stuff in there, so it couldn't get away with much smaller. I'm gonna spend a dollar to move all the way to the general store. Mm -hmm. Even if I can't get that Tommy gun, I can pick up the new baseball bat. There you are. The baseball bat is a new item. Uh, Two-handed weapon, you get plus three strength as part of an attack action. After this test, if you roll to one, this item suffers a damage. Mm -hmm. So, Can we're break. not designed for fighting, but it can do it. All right. Well, I will. I want to stay in this neighborhood to get a chance at uh, yeah. getting this clue. Um, hmm. Could ward some doom, perhaps over on if you focus your influence mm -hmm. you'll have a decent shot at getting an encounter at succeeding at the police station for sure because your inf your observation is great yes all right all and right you'll have, you'll have two focus, bank focus me some influence and i'm gonna, so gonna head over down there, there. practice handshakes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> brush some dirt off my face <laughs> all right uh encounter time well, first, our monsters are going to go. This yes. high priest is going to place one doom in his space. He's mm -hmm. just over at Innsmouth making trouble. Yep, making trouble. And the Wendigo spread, spread terror. terror. So we throw our first terror in south side. Mm -hmm. We attach that card to the south side encounter deck. Just yes. There it is. I like to just lay them crosswise across the top. All right. Uh, encounters. 
right? Yeah, you are. Okay. Let me, let me draw for you. Yeah, at the general store. Mm -hmm. Open for All a right. sweet discount. A bedraggled gray tabby eyes you with suspicion from the alley nearby. You may test influence to pretend to ignore the cat or spend a dollar to coax it out with fresh fish. Hmm. I'll go for the test. Pretend to ignore the cat. Just let them... No. Hmm. I, 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 I don't play it cool. I yes, pet the, that cat and it knows it. The feline is wise to your tricks and ignores you harder. <laughs> Discards to the bottom yep. of Rumor Town. I forgot go. that deck was over by you. Yep. And I, um, hand me that top East Town card. There you are. That for you. The police are logging a large number of looted items. Somebody even hit the butcher shop, says a patrolman, indicating a parcel of raw meat. <laughs> Gain one clue from your neighborhood. Yes. You ask what else they've found. Test influence. All right. <laughs> Got a couple dice. Nope. If you fail, that red meat is too tantalizing. Become tainted. Oh, gross. Tainted is a new condition. <laughs> you hear it? After you draw a blank or a spawn clue mythos token, place one doom in your space. Hmm. And a reckoning will flip that over and... All right. I'm well, sure that will be fine. Man, that rotten meat just looked so Gained good. Two, so it goes over there. <laughs> and now, the fun time start. <laughs> As they always do. I draw a doom token mm -hmm. and a doom token. So double doom. Just go ahead and that's gonna be a doom for Hibs and a doom for the police station. Hit that double nice and early. Police station and and one doom from Oz Boarding House. Good, good. All right, let's see what I got Remember, here. Remember, it's six doom in one neighborhood. Clue your, and terror. So your clue is going to go to East Town. That's pretty lucky. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, almost, almost kicked it over there. And we're going to spread terror. Give me this. I wrote several versions of this rule, so I just want to double check I'm doing it right. Spread terror in the unstable spaces neighborhood. And the unstable space is ooh south side. So it just got even frostier over there. So you're going to have to go through both of those, or just one, to get to an encounter? Well, you'd go through one terror card before you get a standard encounter, but it's going to linger for a while. Right, right. And the more terror in a neighborhood, the worse those cards are going to be. Some people have been asking about these uh, these streets that don't connect to anything. And yeah, those, those and how they work. Those are travel routes. There are three types. I can hopefully remember where they go and show them off. Uh, we've got the ferry, the train platform, and the country road. The country road is one of my favorite pieces of art in this set. It just, mm. I feel like there's so much story in that piece. Uh, the way those work is during a move action, or anytime you're moving, you can spend a dollar to move from one travel route to another route of the same type. So if I'm on this train platform, I can spend a dollar to move directly to the other train platform mm -hmm. here. That's how I'm going to get from north side to Kingsport. Monsters move across those spaces as if they're adjacent. They just hunt you. They don't bother buying a ticket. <laughs> uh, also, there are encounters for those locations. The travel route encounter deck uh, might let you move for free without spending the money, but it'll cost you your encounter to do it. Uh, we we played around with those travel routes just being long, like long puzzle cut pieces that would connect two different tiles. Mm -hmm. And it didn't feel special enough mm. that it just, okay, I'm moving more spaces, but it's not, right. it's not an event, it's not a thing I'm doing. So right. we, we right. settled on this hybrid of you can do it with an encounter or you can do it with just paying, the, paying some extra cash. Yeah. And it, it feels like effort to get there, but you're not stuck and you're not, for sure, you're not stranded if you, if you plan poorly. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. All right, then. Uh, and we, so we did both of these. Yeah, we All did right. our tokens, and we're back to actions. Right. What? What? It remind me. What? Do we have to research the clue first before we can use it to deal yeah, damage? Yeah. The action here is take a clue from the scenario sheet to deal two damage to the Wendigo. Got if it. You can research it first. We can. Okay. Well, dunk on him with our clue. Well, I should probably do that. Let's see the other side of the Wendigo card and just make sure we know how tough he is. How tough is he? 
So he has four health and elite two, so he's got eight health total. And he has the feed ability, so every time he hits one of us, he's going to heal a little bit. So that's not great. Okay. He's not the worst in a fight, but neither one of us is going to be able to go in guns blazing. No, no. Certainly not without, uh, without some firepower. Not without a gun. <laughs> All right, well, let me try and do some research here. Oh, that, boy. That's, it. that's not the research. Do you want different dice? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> These ones are fine. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Uh, yeah. I did yeah. resolve an observation test, so I can move a space if I like. Uh, I could slide over to Hibs and try and ward some doom, perhaps. Hmm. Yeah, I want to stay here still to try and get this other clue. So, yes, we'll slide over there, and then I will try and ward. There we go. There you go. Pull two off of there. That nets me a, a remnant, right? Yes. Because I got two? Yes. You. Hopefully I don't eat this uh, monster piece <laughs> that I found. Well, sometimes if you need that spell to work, it's just what you do. All right. Over to you. Let's see. The part of me that just wants cool toys wants to keep hanging out here at the general store, but that's mm -hmm. probably not the best use of my time. I think I should probably make my way towards uh, Country Road or something to head up here. Yeah, he's gonna we should take of care of that high priest. If we just let him sit for a while, he's going to really be a pain. Yep. Um, the fairy's over by you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could also head over there. I guess I don't have too much ability to uh, to dunk on him, but... I could also head towards Kingsport where we know there's a clue. Uh but I think I will... This larger board really four. has a lot of options. If I'm willing to spend $3, I can move four spaces to get to the country road, spend a dollar, and land over here. Takes my whole turn. So I think instead I will just spend $2 to land on the country road and be ready to go again. There you are. And I'll play the violin to get one of those dollars back and use my violin to focus some more... I will grab lore, because I also have the captivating melody. I can perform a word action while I'm engaged with a monster, and I can spend my successes on removing doom or on exhausting a monster in my space. Nice. Nice. I can use music to soothe the savage beast. Yes. Or the guy wearing a bed sheet. <laughs> it's a creepy guy, though. <laughs> All right, uh, monster time. All right, he's going to drop a doom. He's going to drop a terror. You, those are actually double-sided. The yep. other side is a three, so we can do that. But Man. the south side's getting pretty dangerous. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to go there later. Uh, all right, encounter time. There you are. We're at Hibbs Roadhouse. Joey the Rat Vigil whistles to catch your attention. I've uh, just to com come into possession of some merchandise. You interested? You may buy one common item from the display for half price rounded up. Oh. So you could pick up this magnifying glass for a dollar or this baseball bat for a dollar. Ooh, give me the baseball bat. <laughs> That's a pretty sweet baseball bat you got there, Joey. It's signed. <laughs> All right. And you are on a travel route. A country road. You search a mangled, rust-covered car in the ditch. Gain one curio. Oh, I should replenish that too. Mm -hmm. So I could take some fine clothes, a camera, or an other world codex. That other world codex plays right in my using ward to stun monsters thing. So I'm gonna pick that up. I now get to roll four dice or seven dice when I ward. All right. You hear ghostly screams from the victims of this wreck. Test will. Oh. I pass that. Okay. The voices pass, and you continue on your way. You may move one space or move to another country road. Yeah, I'll just move right on over here. Those country roads. Now I'm ready to come clean up this high priest mess. <laughs> All right. Uh, mythos time, right? Uh, 
A gate burst. Lucky us. <laughs> in Innsmouth Shore. I'm glad I came over here. I was going to drop one Doom in each space there. Mm -hmm. and now, lucky, lucky, we've got six. So, we're going to clean out one space. I always like to pick the space with the most Doom, but mm -hmm. sometimes it's better to make other choices. Yep. Uh, attach one Terror to Innsmouth Shore. We're going to spread Terror there once, and that was it. Could have been worse. At least it happened somewhere one of us was already going. Right. Shuffle that up because of the gate burst. And my other token is a monster. Boy, I just get to draw all the bad stuff. All right. Got an avian thrall. Spawn at most doom. Two doom here, two, two doom there. Hmm. Uh, we can drop it over here. I, right. I will play are. my violin at it furiously. <laughs> uh, it, it wants to move toward and engage the investigator with the most clues if we leave him alone. So. Yes. He's a hunter, right? Yeah, he's hunting you. All right. A blank. Uh, All right. My tainted means that spawns a doom yeah. in my space. Drop the doom on the floor. And a headline. Occult activity threatens city. Old house demolished after purchase by Silver Twilight Lodge. Workmen found sinister altar shrine. Looked satanic. <laughs> by Minnie Klein, staff writer. Choose one. Place a doom in your space or spawn a monster in your space. Hmm. If it's not a hunter. Yeah. Uh, what's the worst a monster it could be? <laughs> Ooh, a dread shadow. It is a hunter. All right. That's one of our Shantax. That's a big, scary it's a, it's, dragon. Looks, looks like a dragon, yeah. <laughs> Seems like I could uh, Horse -headed dragon. Can That's easily good. easily take care of this. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, this avian thrall is bad, too. We hit two pretty rough monsters very early. All right. But then it's around to us. Mm-hmm. This thing, one, two, three. Three will get near to you if I don't deal with it, but I could come in and ward mm -hmm. and possibly exhaust it as well. So, let's yes, let's see if I can uh, start that unless you have other ideas. Let's see, elite one and massive and pursuit. So, thanks to my captivating melody talent, I can ward even when there's a monster there, and thanks mm -hmm. to my other rogue codex, I get three extra dice when I do it. So, mm -hmm. And that is me having terrible oh, etiquette. Sh shame. Boo hiss. <laughs> All right. I got two successes. So I can exhaust the monster so we won't chew on anybody. I can use the other one to uh, remove doom, or I could re roll it to spawn an extra clue. Which, since we need clues to take that guy down, is probably yeah. a good idea. I'll leave, float some extra doom on the board, and I'm sure that won't bite us in the butt later. But I will spawn doom once. Innsmouth Shore is the top card. Do need to properly deal with this thing eventually, because all I'm doing is stunning it for a bit. Yeah, well, I'm going to hit this dragon with a baseball bat in a second. So. Yeah, that's always a good plan. That'll work out well. <laughs> um, hmm. In all seriousness, I should probably try to evade it. Well, if you evade, you'll get the bo a bonus action. So That's true. Or to sneak around it and then yeah, move, and then wail on the space. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's let's try to evade this guy. All right. Four. Ha! Successfully right. evaded. There he is. Yep. Uh, so bonus action. Yeah, we might as well try and try and hit him with our baseball bat. He's got elite one, so he's got four health total. Okay. Oh, uh, it is massive, so it doesn't get exhausted. Uh, you yes. can still move away from it. Right. After you do this. So. Uh, let's see. So I'm minus one die, so I roll four. One hit. Yeah. Did you get any ones on that test? I did. I did so get a one. Damage your bat. Not my bat. Uh, Unless you want to spend a focus to reroll the one. No, no, no. 
we're good. Um, let's uh, let's see. Let's slide on over to Velma's diner here. I keep trying to get that clue. Yep. All right. So the monster phase. This avian thrall jumps back on me. High priest keeps making trouble. Mm. And that Wendigo keeps doing terrible things. <laughs> terrible things. <laughs> All right, and encounter time. Velma's Diner. The patron in the next booth is drawing bizarre and disturbing icons on the margins of a newspaper. Either test observation to covertly analyze the doodles, or spend a dollar to purchase the paper from him. Hmm, I have no dollar. So I can test observation, yes? Yeah. Two successes. If you pass or spend the money, the arcane images fortify your spirit against dark forces. Mm. Become blessed. Oh, yes. So blessed. And this is the card for you? No, this is the, this is the card I have. Yeah, and I've got a avian thrall trying to chew on me. Yes. So All right. I get no encounter. I'm yeah. busy. Busy exhausting this thing as much as I can. All right, and Mythos. I get a headline. Mm -hmm. Foul footprints found. Emu zoologist stumped. Authorities not concerned. Probably a hoax, says Sheriff. Test will resolve the effect based on your test result. Got two successes. I know from this card that having that extra one won't help me, so I'm going to go ahead and reroll that six to spawn another clue. Also to Innsmouth Shore, so if I can ever not have a dragon chasing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of clues to have up here. And I got one on my test, so I will spawn a monster at the unstable space. Bad news for you, because we have no discard, the unstable space is Velma's Diner. Woo! <laughs> Ooh, an altered servant. There he is. Other token was a blank. So. Not a hunter though, so. No, so he has the elusive trait as long as you're there. Yes, I can sneak, sneak right past. All right, uh, Doom and Reckoning. And Doom is gonna go to Ma's boarding house. Mm hmm Because of course it is. And the Reckoning. Place one doom in any space in Innsmouth and one doom in any space in Kingsport. I also flipped my tainted have, condition. Huh? At first, they were simply sores, then blisters on Ooh. your skin. The pain has only grown, and now you can feel something squirming within your flesh. Something that wants out. Cool. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I'm having a baby. <laughs> All right, one success. I suffer one damage and one horror, then discard this card. Alright, I'm gonna have gone worse. put both of those Could on forewarned. Back. Shuffle that into my other tainted, no, the other tainted cards in case we need it. Yes. Again. Alright. Hmm. Alright, I should probably ward and get away from this thing mm -hmm. and go hang out mm -hmm. at Falcon Point, I can potentially get some clues. I got three successes. I will go ahead. Spawning another clue is not what I need right now. I will just exhaust this thrall, remove two doom, gain a remnant, and cheese it. Excellent. Uh, hmm. Snaybread's getting a little hot. Getting a little hot for my taste. Um, I think perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> well, that altered servant's ignoring you. It is. Uh, could hang out for a bit longer, I suppose. Uh, oh, I could try to research this clue that I have. Seems like a good thing. And who's the dread shadow hunting? Because it should should be ready. Yes. Move forward and engage. Highest lore. Uh, that's three. me right now. Okay. 
So he will move one, two. He'll get to. It'll get to this yep. ferry, but. Yep. 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 Not mm. attack yet. I could. I could. Hmm. Yes. I'm gonna research this. Got it. All right. All right. Is that clue to the scenario sheet. Uh, I guess I could just immediately. Take it back and ping him for two? Yeah. Uh, or we could hopefully wait until we have more clues banked. We can, we'll, we'll use all of them at once. Is that yeah, how it's worded? It's move any number of clues. Ah, uh, okay. Got we it. Can, yes. We yes. can go for the drip damage now or we can no, let's try wait a to second. save it up. Um, and then for my second action, uh, I think I'm going to focus. Let me, uh, let me focus some. Oh, or I could hit this guy with my baseball bat. Two health. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's not too bad. I'm gonna hit this guy with my baseball bat. It's just a guy with a backpack full of weird tentacles. <laughs> backpack full of tentacles. Yeah, you know. All right, dude. Ha! There look at go. that. Cracking no more bad. tentacles he for did you. Did roll a one though, so. No, three ones. Several ones, so. Yeah, this is a uh, one broken baseball bat. Got some good mileage out of it. Yeah. Unfortunately, the dice didn't let you keep it for long. And you got a remnant mm -hmm. for cracking him in the head. Uh, they're asking any new monsters coming in under dark waves. Quite a few, I believe. Yeah, actually, let's show off that dread shadow. He's a new one. This is a Shantak Servitor. Uh, he spawns the unstable space. There are a couple of Shantaks. This scenario uses both of them. Uh, he's a pretty rough monster. He has the new pursuit keyword. After you damage this month, after this monster is dealt damage by an investigator in another space, it moves one space towards that investigator. Mm -hmm. It moves its speed towards that investigator. So if you're Trying using to... your shriveling spell from next door, or mm -hmm. Diana's camped out calling down lightning, it's gonna it's gonna come for you. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. A nice way to uh, counter those. Just make you. Plan some different tactics to try to get around it. Yes. Uh, there, there are some other new ones, or new monsters in the scenario that are going to come up before too long, I'm sure. Uh, there are, I'm trying to remember the number, I think there are 20 some new monsters? 21 new monsters cards, so. Awesome. Uh, and I try to make sure that there are a couple uh, traded keywords that are going to pop up in existing scenarios as well. For sure. So, like the we're going to Innsmouth, of course there are going to be some new deep ones in this box. So those will show up in the Echoes of the Deep scenario in the original box. Right, right. Excellent. All right, so we did our actions, right? Uh, you took your turn? I did take mine, yeah. Okay. So monsters. So then this guy is... Stands up. That flies towards me. One space to that ferry, another space to this ferry. And then, great. Innsmouth is now looking a little hairy. Mm-hmm. The avian thrall is chasing whoever has the most clues. Right now we're tied, so yeah, it'll just go for me because I'm closest. Uh, we can use this ability to make sure we're giving that avian thrall a run around, though. Yeah, whichever one of us takes the clues off the sheet will right. draw aggro. Right. All right. Uh, and and so people wondering when this is going to come out. This is coming out pretty soon, actually, in October, I believe. Yeah, I think that's that's what we're hoping. But yeah, yeah. Um, it is is currently on track for that. Mm -hmm. So October uh, c coming out pretty close to uh, the Innsmouth conspiracy for Arkham Horror the card game. Yeah, it's kind of a happy coincidence. We didn't plan that going in. We just realized we were both working on right. Certainly not in terms of parallel track syncing up the thought, release hey, dates. Let's, yeah, let's try to to cross over a little bit. So I used some of the new art that Matt commissioned for his product. He used some of the art and characters I created for mine, mm -hmm. and we're, so we have some crossover there. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Uh, encounter time, right? Yeah, I get one this turn. Yes. I'm going to have to go through this terror encounter first. There's one terror in my space. All right. My your bones ache. You can see nothing but the white field of driving snow. A voice beyond your perception offers you respite from the cold. If only you'll stop and rest for a moment. Hmm. Test will. Just want to... Sit down, have a nice cup of coffee here mm. at Falcon Point, where terrible things happen all the time. I pass. Ah, okay. Well, 
You continue on your way. Let's show off that card a little bit because this is a new card yes. case. Uh, so it's laid out kind of like an anomaly card where there are varying tiers based on the number of uh, terror in your space. The last slot always pulls some off so they, you'll have a chance to kind of pull some terror off the board. But mm -hmm. generally, the only way to get it off the board is that baked in uh, influence action on the on card 61. Mm -hmm. So it's just, this one's just going to keep getting worse. If there was five terror here, it would just be take some damage or be delayed. Gnarly. Significantly worse than what I just did. So Yeah. But now that I've done that encounter, I can get to the... I paid my tax to have an encounter in a frozen neighborhood. Yes. In the faint moonlight, you see a boat full of silhouetted figures that seems to be following you as you walk down the shore. When you start to run, they cry out and hurl something that embeds itself in your leg. Ouch. Suffer one damage and gain the harpoon. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you guys are going to throw it at me. Well, I'm keeping this. <laughs> so the harpoon, obviously, is one of our new special items. Yes. Get plus three strength as part of an attack action. Before you perform an attack action, you may move a monster in an adjacent space to your space. You can just reel Pull him in. in. And yeah. Get that harpoon going. All right. Hopefully get them off of, off of your friends. Yep. And you are at Velma's. Yes. End. Velma warily locks the door behind you. She serves coffee and food and then forgets to ask for any money. Yeah. You are an ally. may recover two health. Don't need to. <laughs> you look around for a reason. She locked the door. Mm. Test your observation. Testing observation. Success. If you pass, you see people across the street with a dangerous, deadly hunger in their eyes. Gain one clue from your neighborhood. Perfect. And I uh, resolved an observation test, so I can move a space yeah. if I like. Um, should I come and help you, or do we... Should probably come well, over this there. is chasing you now. Yes. Hmm. Although if it draws through my space, it'll it'll stop and right. have a snack. Right, right, right. Uh, I should probably come over there and. Well, now that I've got a harpoon, this high priest is looking a little a little easier to wrangle. Okay. Okay. Well, in that case, maybe I will head over this way. I can get down and clear out some of this doom, hopefully. Yeah, and that Wendigo will. He'll ignore me, since I'm so he, unassuming. He is epic. Does oh, uh, it just says each non-hunter monster in right. your space gains the elusive keyword. Right, it, she gets more tricks up her sleeve if it works on on the big bads. Yes. All right. Uh, oh, and I gained a clue, which means I recover the health and sanity off of that card, and here we are. All right. So the monster phase. No. We just did. That already happened. We just did encounters. Not this time. I don't know why I'm jumping ahead to the, <laughs> the punishment punishment stuff already. Uh, I spawn a monster and a clue with my mm -hmm. two tokens. Mm-hmm. So monster, monster first. comes out. Spawn at most doom. It's another Shantac That's guardian gonna beast. Be down by the Wendigo. He's got three doom in his space. Yep. And the clue is gonna pile up in Infamous Shore. Yeah, that's definitely where we need to be. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any money to take this that boat. bag is empty, That's so okay. throw all your tokens back in and draw two. You really won't be terrible. Let's see what we got here. We got spread doom and blank. It's going to be one doom for Hibbs Roadhouse and one for the police station. All right. Which could be worse. All right. And actions. Right. So you're like going to go after that high guy, priest? I should harpoon this guy a question. Yes. Uh, I'll reel him in, since I can. Why Although not? If I do... We're, you were headed towards boarding house? Yes. One, two, three, four. One, two. So the avian thrall will go this way and won't kite through my space, so... Yeah, I'll reel in this high priest with my harpoon. Before I attack, I move him into my space. He'll engage me, and I will check a harpoon at him. Just one. Oh, Spend my strength. 
hope for a good reroll. Nope. Mm. So I do one damage to him. And then I'm going to violin furiously to try to get him to not hurt me. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> Didn't mean to jab you with my bow. I thought this harpoon was just how people said hi around here. That's what they did to me. <laughs> I can exhaust him and remove this doom. Nice. Excellent. Harpoon in one hand, violin in the other. You've attached your bow to the harpoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm moving down here. And I'm going to try and ward. Hey, there you go. That's three doom. Cleared have out. A, have some monster bits. Yes. <laughs> so many monster pieces. I need like a spell or something that I can. Use Maybe you these got tentacles. stew going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And monsters. Yeah. All right. That this guy moves towards the unstable space. Unstable space is Hibs or the police station. All right. One, two. This even thralls pretty quick. Gets makes it all the way to the historical society. Yep. This dread shadow still chasing me. Will get to me and attack, unfortunately. Oh no. So elite one and massive. So he just uh chews on my, my precious face a little bit. Alright. And encounters. Well, I've got this. You've got monsters. Dread shadow tangling with me. So. Monsters are your encounter. Oh yeah, I'm man! I'm in Southside now. All right, uh, you know, terror time. You're doing one of these, and there are four terror in your neighborhood. Terror time. Someone has carved a baleful glyph into the razor sharp spire of ice that blocks your way. Test lore minus two. One. Uh, I'm blessed. blessed. Success. If you pass, you safely deface the ward. Whether you pass or fail, discard two terror from your neighborhood. Nice. Did it. Dodged some bleeding. Keep people doing this this bad graffiti around town. And then uh, Ma's boarding house. Ma Matheson offers you a good meal and a warm bed. Your an ally recovers three health. Ah. Don't need that. You're well fed already. Uh, you awake in the night and sense someone in the room with you, uh -oh. though you see no one. Mm. Test your will. My will says two successes. If you pass, you steal your mind and return to sleep. Ah, good. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Someone's sure. in the room with you, just, just forget about There's it. There's no one here, just go to sleep. <laughs> don't worry about it. All right. And oh, I, I suspect, I think we forgot to add additional oh, we, terror we, for we the Oh, we definitely did. So well. Yep. Southside's gonna be frozen for a while. Yeah, it'll take a while for that to thaw out. I still didn't get. Yeah, we might want to try to start cranking on that. Uh, I will. I will spawn two clues. All right. Central Kingsport and Central Kingsport. No oh boy. He's down there too. Hmm. All right. Let's see what I got. Uh, terror and Reckoning. So the Sheet's Reckoning. Well, the Terror goes to the Unstable Space, which is going to be East Town. Mm -hmm. East and then the Reckoning is going to drop some extra Doom in our other other regions here. Stacking it up is good. All right. Well, let's head into this and this will this will probably be the last round that we can get through uh, in our time here but we'll make it count yeah um i think i want to harpoon this high priest yeah finish him off yeah take him down take him down probably man. evade the dread shadow let's see i got a strength of oh i used my focus so just needed one. Mm -hmm. I harpoon him a question. He gives me a spell when I take him down. And now I know the Flesh Ward spell to get less hurt later. Jealous. And let's hide from a dragon. From a horse dragon. <laughs> not or today. Not. 
Yeah, probably should have brought in a, a harder hitting guardian for a scenario that starts with a with an elite beast on the board. Mm -hmm. Yes. All uh, right. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna research this clue. I did it. Clue right. researched. And then I'll use my second action and, and slam some damage down on this so Wendigo. Spend those. You take these clues right back. Yes. And the Wendigo takes three damage. Or four damage. Four damage. So he's half dead. Blambo. Next and round, I'm just going to do down. it again. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, I could move if I wanted to. I've done an observation test. Can't get away from that avian thrall, though. Um, I, may, I think I'm going to move down into that space seems better for me better stuff and if that guy's coming for me anyways might as well all right yeah so that would be it for monsters so now the yeah. monster phase happens keeps keeps chewing on me terror spreads I over here we have our terror card for for south side did you already Get the token? I did get the token. Great. Yes. Wow, this guy, he want, he want me. So he's going to hit me for two sanity, I believe. One health and two sanity. Ouch. Well, that's a three. Yeah, I got one. We're good. <laughs> uh, and encounters were we both have tangoing monsters, with monsters. So. Too busy. All right. I get a headline mm -hmm. and a monster. Dream expert found dead. Foul play suspected. Dr. Efren Zvelinger, MD, PhD, found dead in his home. Doctor strangled to death by his own hand. <laughs> Test will suffer three horror and prevent one for each success he rolled. So. Oh no. I will take two horror. We're, uh, we're kind of getting kicked around a little bit. Yeah. We drew the three biggest monsters in the deck right off the bat. We got the Avian Thrall and both Shantax, so... Good stuff. That's rough. Good stuff. That's rough. <laughs> Speaking of monsters, I drew, also oh, yes. drew a monster token, so... Uh, it's in a cursed somnambulist. Spawns at the unstable. Yeah, he's just sleepwalking around the police station. See if he'd, he'd come out earlier. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, gate burst and doom spread. Gate burst in central Kingsport is going to cause some. No oh boy. Cause a terror there, but we can take all the doom off one space. Mm -hmm. That's why for this t doom mechanic, stacking your doom up in one space is really helpful. Because mm -hmm. you have some control over how much that pressure valve gets released when the mm -hmm. when the mm -hmm. terror spreads. In this, uh, with with this uh, iteration of how Doom works, it, it seems less punishing than in some other scenarios, or the Doom itself is less dangerous. Uh, it would you agree or, or disagree? Or? It ramps up more consistently than sure. like an anomaly. Okay. An anomaly scenario can really just get away from you. Right, really and then fast. you're like, oh crap, we lost. Whereas this um, is more of a, a, a and uh, to a lesser extent, outbreaks can do that too. This one mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't have that surging, mm -hmm. but it does add the additional danger of. Yeah, yeah. If you're and, if you hit a bad terror card, it can really just just yeah. hammer away at you. Exactly. And it makes and if like now that we have terror here, where we really need to get these clues, mm -hmm. that could be could be quite a problem. For sure. All right. Well, this was some gameplay with Under Dark Waves, uh, one of the new scenarios. Uh, you want to throw that scenario sheet up in the yes. card shot real quick so people can see what we are playing. Oh. Uh, Sorry, I did take my harpoon card back. Featuring Ithakwa, Ithakwa's children. Uh, so yeah, this is awesome. This is, as I mentioned, Under Dark Waves. Tip it a little bit, it's glary. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, our uh, beta cards are that's, very that's high good. gloss. Under Dark Waves coming out in October, but uh, available right after this are going to be the new uh, investigators, the new Wendy, Dexter, Rex, and Min uh, that are going to be up on our website with their cards available mm -hmm. for you to print and play and add to your own games of Arkham Horror 3rd Edition so you guys can enjoy all that. 
Uh, but don't go away, because we're going to be right back in five-ish minutes with uh, Arkham Horror the Card Game. going to sit down with the developers, and we're all going to make a card together that will be yeah, added cool. to the game at a later point. So that'll be very fun and exciting, and uh, we'll see you guys there.